Hello, hello, hello. Hope all is well. Hope all is well, everybody. Um, my name is Ernest. I'm one of the team members from theprofitroom.com. I'm just going to wait for a couple of uh, more um, minutes. If you can, please share this in your room, different groups, and things of that nature. Uh, at the Profit Room, if you don't know, we are a stock market trading and education company. So, what we do at the stock market, uh, we teach people how to trade and invest in the different financial markets. So that's what we do. Um, and we like to do these uh, little interviews with students also to motivate and inspire people uh, to let them know what's possible from trading and investing in the different financial markets. So it's very, very important that, you know, a lot of us watch these because what happens um, is we all come from different backgrounds, social and economic backgrounds. We all deal with a lot of different uh, things, you know, and when you see people, you may relate to them because we all at one particular point are trying to gain tame financial independence in our life, some type of way, you know, so um, sometimes it's just always upbuilding to see somebody that's successful. Maybe you can learn from their experience also, can share and motivate, inspire, things of that nature. So if you can just share in a couple of groups, I'm trying to share it as well. And for a lot of us to uh, benefit from it. So um, let me see here, I'm just uh, putting it in a couple of groups right now. And, uh, you know, hope all is well. Hope all is well. Just one. Let's hear it too. Gotcha, cool, cool, cool. All right, let me share another group. I'm gonna share this in our profit um, trading room as well. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, so let's go. First of all, we have one of our stocks and options students, Latrice. She took our group stock and options course as well as she's a part of our trading room. Um, at the profit room. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Latrice, and tell us why or how did you hear about trading and investing or any experience in the past so everybody gets to know a little bit about who you are, what you do. Okay. Hey, everybody. I'm Latrice. Um, I live in California. I'm a mother of five. I'm an Air Force veteran, a disabled veteran, and a full-time mom. And how I heard about, um, or first, I guess, started looking into trading and things like that is I had a friend that I was in the Air Force with and I saw him, this was a couple of years ago, I saw him quit his day job, which was his own personal business to just trade full time. And I'm like, how did he do that? You know, we come from the same background. We were both in the military together. How did you do that? And then I... You know, I was like, he must have a lot of money. You know, that was my first thought. And um, so I just watched. And then I met Ernest a couple years ago, watched him consistently from the bleachers, <laughs> watched other people go through the classes from the bleachers, watch them get money <laughs> in every day. You know, I'm seeing these posts from the profit room and it's like, oh, we live trade, we did this, we did that. And I, just always told myself, I was like, okay, they all have a lot of money. I don't. So let me just stack my little coins and then maybe one day I could join them. And um, that was probably the, the, the biggest misconception that I've had about trading is that, you know, this was for the big boys or I didn't have, have enough money or whatever. But I just consist, I saw Ernest and Latoya in the profit room, traders, uh, students consistently win and that's what did it for me to finally kind of get me to say you know what enough's enough I'm not watching from the bleachers anymore I'm seeing all this money being made and I'm not making any of it so let me go ahead and just invest and and get started you know and here we are all right cool cool so First of all, so you learned, you, you saw from your, your homeboy that was in the um, military with you, they was able to uh, do that. And you also saw that we were being consistent in trading. So you decided to jump in, you took the course. Now, 
talk about the course, the structure behind it. How did you feel the learning process from beginning to the end? Did it, did you feel that you can grasp and understand the concepts? Because a lot of people, they feel like they trade and invest, like you said in the beginning, you do need a lot of money. And they also feel like it's very, very difficult to accomplish. And I know you were amongst other peers and people like that. How did, how did you feel in the beginning? Because I know in the beginning, everything is not always cookie cutter. And towards the middle, then you start towards the end. How did you feel when you started? Okay, so the first thing I did was when I took the class, I found an accountability partner. I wanted somebody to take the class with me. And this was just because I was extremely intimidated. I wanted somebody to take the class with me to uh, hold me accountable, hold them accountable. And, you know, we can, we can bounce things off of each other. But one thing I noticed is when I, once I got in the class, I honestly didn't need an accountability partner. Um, because the way the class is structured, uh, is not as intimidating as you think. It takes discipline. You have to be focused. You have to really devote your time to this. And it's not something to play around with, but it's so easy to learn and to grasp with the, with minimal knowledge about stocks. I, I knew about the stock market. I've owned stocks, shares, things like that, but trading is a different beast. And I thought that I wasn't going to be able to grasp it. You know, I see the terminology being used on social media you guys are using. And I'm like, what does all this mean? It, it, was, it was literally Greek, literally. And I, I didn't think I'd be able to get it. But the way the class is structured and the way you and Latoya break it down from, you know, I feel like it's one of those classes to where it really doesn't matter what level you're on. You guys take turns, you know, uh, tagging each other in and out in a way to where maybe you might speak over my head, but then she'll break it down to where it comes down to my level. And then maybe she said something that's not on my level, but then you'll take it back and give me a metaphor or an analogy that'll just make it click. And what I found myself doing was at the end of each class or each session, what I would do was I would go back and, and replay it maybe a day or two later, but now I was the teacher, you know, and I'm so, I'm like, okay, so this is, you know, I'm looking at the candles and I'm candlesticks, I'm doing everything and I'm like, okay, if I can teach it, then that means I, I, I learned it, you know, the right way kind of thing. So the class wasn't as intimidating. I had psyched myself up, you know, I'm like, oh my God, I'm taking a class with Ernest. And I had psyched myself up to think that this was going to be something that, you know, required a PhD or, you know, a certain IQ level to get. But I don't care if you just found out about the stock market yesterday. You only have a Robin Hood account. You don't have any account. It was easy enough for me to grasp to the point where I, it became addicting immediately. Like as soon as the class would end, I would want to learn more or I was waiting, you know, anticipating the next class. And it was, it was exciting. Like, and I'm not just hyping it up. Like I, I think I haven't, it's been a long time since I've been this excited to learn something. No, that's cool. That's cool. Now, so you took the class and as you start to learn and you starting to pick up, cause I know we had a couple of messages back and forth as you continue to advance, right? Through that process, what do you think is some of the hardest things? Like now you know the information, like we always say education, application and success. Now you're starting to implement what you're learning because mm -hmm. now you, you see what's able to happen. What do you think is some of the hardest things making that transition from the education side of it now applying it and doing it well what could you think like uh just personally some of your particular if you had any struggles during that could it be consistency studying things of that nature distractions just just you know let people know um honestly my my biggest hurdle and this is just a personal hurdle it was like when i took the class uh, life just turned upside down on his head for me at that moment in time and um, 
I was like, I can't do this right now. I can't do this. And you stayed on me like every couple of days. Like, hey, where are you? You know, what are you doing? What, what you got going on? Are you, you going to jump in there? And I'm like, I can't right now. It's, life isn't too much. It's going on. And you just, and you, you really motivated me to get back in there. So then once I got back in there, maybe about a week or two had passed after the class was over. Now I'm like, you know what? Did I lose the information? Did I retain it? Do I need to go back? It's been two weeks. And with your mentorship, and it helped me to gain the confidence. That was the, one of the main things for me was the confidence that I lacked to just jump in there. You know, it was like, I know what I'm talking about. And I'm sitting over here and I'm paper trading, sim, you know, simulated uh, fake money per se, and I'm winning. Like I got all these gains and I'm making all this profit and I'm like, oh my God, like I could be out there doing it in the, with real money. And I just didn't have the confidence, you know, to jump in there. And what the game changer for me with the confidence was, was when I joined the trading room. Because then I felt like I had somebody along my side who was trading along with me. And if I made a mistake, or I was thinking about maybe taking profit too soon or staying in the trade too long, you guys were right there like, ah, ah, we doing this. Like, you know, we're taking profit here, this and this and that. And then, like I said, I think your mentorship was extremely vital for me personally because I, I really, really lacked the confidence to just jump in there with, you know, with real money. And um, then another thing was just the discipline that it took. Being that I live on the east, on the west coast, and the stock market is on the east coast, stock market opens up at nine thirty. That's six thirty my time. Excuse me, I live by air. I live across the street from the airport. It's a helicopter. Um, I live okay. So I live on the west coast, and I'm three hours behind. But now I have to have the discipline to not only get up and just be present every morning to do this consistently. I had to have the discipline to get up in the morning you know, and, and be up and, and, and do the research that I needed to do, read the charts that I needed to read, and just, you know, just jump in there. So I would say confidence, I would say the discipline, and I would also say the third and probably most important financially was learn to respect the market. <laughs> you know, everybody... You know, the stock market is popular right now. You know, last year, year before it was cryptocurrency. That was the hype. Now the hype is everybody's seeing these gains from the stock markets fall and drop. And, you know, you may see people say, oh, you know, this, this went up this much or whatever. So now it's popular. You know, everyone's trying to be financial, uh, financially uh, free um, or have financial freedom. So you want to jump in there, but the respect that I did not have for the stock market, uh, yeah, that got me together real quick. And you have to understand that it's a beast. And it, it goes both ways, the same way, you know, it's no different than somebody who's gambling in Vegas and they, you know, they may know what to do, but they feel like, oh, I'm gonna ride this. And then before you know it, they put everything on black and boom, they lost out of money. And then they could turn around and put it all on red and now they're up. You know, it, it's, a, it's to be respected. And the people who are out there that are making the money know this. They have the confidence. They have the discipline. They're doing the research. And it's not just, hey, let me watch the news for five minutes or uh, log on to Yahoo Finance and see what's green and what's red and let me trade there. Like, this, this is work. Yeah. <laughs> it's work and it's not to be played with and I think if you take it seriously um it's there and then the last the last thing would be consistency correct I and feel I like when it comes to consistency that means showing up even when you lose that day you know showing up the next day or learning from your mistake and you're like you know what well I made this mistake and maybe that's why this happened or I made 300, but I could have made 3000 if I just would have listened to what Ernest told me. Cause I've had that moment before <laughs> I really had that moment where I had a good day. I'm like, I won, you know, I, I, I'm up $300. And then the next day I had realized I could have been up 3000. You know what I mean? So that's what I mean when I say the, the market needs to be respected. And if you respect it, then you'll take time to understand that, 
um, you can't just go into this burning. Like, if, but if you put in the work, you will see the results. Yeah, and I and I'm glad that you said respect the market because, like you said, the market is hype now. There's a lot of people. Everything's all time high. Like majority of the stocks that are pushing, you can just throw the money in the market and it just pops higher, right? Like I said, I go to the bank. My banker's trading now. Hey, I'm buying stock, right? So it's just one of those things. And the reality behind it now as being an educated trader, you can make money trading and people can post profits, but you got to ask yourself and be honest with yourself as a trader. And these goals for everybody. Were you fortunate enough to make that money in the market? Or did you have a strategic plan of why you got in that trade and why you made money? And the average person that you see here does not have a strategic way of why they got in. They heard about it. They were in a group. Y'all better jump on this. And they put their money in there. Boom. 80, 100% overnight. I'm a trader now. So It's all good until it works the other way and then they lose everything. (laughs) Exactly. But it's good now because life is good. Everything is is going well, which, which is cool, which is cool. But not cool at when when you're trying to gain consistency. When you're definitely trying to gain consistency. The lesson wasn't learned. Yeah. And I'm glad you mentioned the word uh the confidence. And I think that's what sets us apart at the profit room, which we try with a lot of people. There's a lot of educational places you can go to. And the thing is what we try to do, right? We teach, we educate but we also trade, you know what I mean? So the fact that we, that's why the only reason we do have the rooms is because we want places people to go to be able to trade every day. So, and that's where our students come from where, hey, I've taken a class, I learned this uh, strategic way of trading, both sides of the market. When the stocks go down, the stocks go up, no matter futures or whatever, Forex, now, you're amongst other people that's trading. Like I'll go through the thread and then people say, oh, I'm up 800%. I've only been in a room two weeks. And, and some of the stuff, you don't know what they're actually trading. But as a student, since you've been taught to trade the way we think, Latoya and I, now when you see the trades that we're getting in, you can look at the chart and see, oh, I see why he got in. Oh, I right. see why Latoya mentioned that. Now, you're starting to develop what we call that, that trader muscle and that trader mindset because now you're able to think on your own. You're able to think on your own and you're able to celebrate your success on your own because now you're getting into somebody's mind. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. Uh, when you're trading, it's not about the education. A thousand percent of, about it. It's about the trader's mindset with it. So you can go to YouTube University. You can learn how to trade from anywhere. But when you have the education and you also can get that trader's mindset behind it, it's going to boost it all the way up. Because everybody can read a book. Everybody. And that's where the, that's where the value comes in. That, that's where the value comes in. Because like you said, the, the chats we had, the messages we had, and things like that. You're doing the right thing, but you're thinking the wrong way. You get what I'm saying? You're thinking the wrong way. And when traders don't realize that, like, hey, I get people all the time. Hey, bro, can you teach me? I know TA. I know candlesticks. And I'm like, listen, you think you know TA. You think you know candlesticks. But you wouldn't be calling and asking. Then once they like, I, I, because their thinking is not the right way. Right. And that thinking to adjust towards a trader's mindset, it just changes the game. It just it just changes the game. So so tell a little bit about what you're doing now. Like what are you trading? What is your goal? How have you been successful? Things of that nature, so that people can know what you're doing. Okay, so first off, um, let's break down the misconception of I need to have a lot of money to get into this. 
Mm-hmm. So like what I did, um, and this is just for complete transparency, because I believe that although I have had certain levels of success in certain areas of my life, I am truly your everyday person, you know, from around the way. Okay. So let's be real. I've been waiting to jump in with you for years. Cause I see the consistency there. I see you guys, you guys, for some reason, you guys were unique to me. Okay. I have a lot of people on my Facebook friends list that have trading academies um, all of a sudden, or that, uh, you know, are teaching people how to trade and stuff like that. But what set me apart to you guys, and I think this is important before I go any further in the conversation, what set me, what set you guys apart from anybody else for me was that you guys are present. It's not like, hey, take my class, I'm going to take your money and then you'll never hear from me again. Now you're on your own. There isn't a day that goes by that I can't access you guys. I can't trade with you guys. I can't ask questions or get something broken down to me. And there's just a certain sense of security in knowing that when I'm trading with you guys, I'm not on my own for two reasons. One, because you guys are right there to support me still. And then two, if we're trading together, of course you're going to want to see me win because it's a reflection of your own personal trades. And you ain't in this to lose, so how can I lose if I'm trading with you, okay? So the fact that you guys didn't just, hey, we're at the end of the class, I'll never talk to you again. Um, and that, that there's that personal security there, right? So, okay, fine, I finally felt that, I got that vibe from you guys, and I'm ready. But I'm like, okay, where's this money coming from? We're in the middle, we're in the middle of a pandemic, where's this money coming from? So I said, you know what, okay, this stimulus check is coming. So I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to be smart with this money. I'm not going to blow it. I'm not going to, you know, put it in my savings account and wait for, you know, 0.03 interest rate, you know, returns on my savings account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to invest in myself, invest in my family, and I'm going to go ahead and sign up for this class. So, I'll, boom, I signed, took some of the money, signed up for the class. I started with $500, okay? Could I put more in there? I could have. But uh, that, that was my comfort level at the time. I'm like, you know, I might have to go a little bit slower than maybe some other people that join, you know, because their bag is bigger than mine or maybe they feel comfortable. But, hey, I got five kids, I got a mortgage, and we're in the middle of a pandemic. Let me play it safe. I'm going to put $500 in here, right? So I put the $500 in, and I, I, watched, for, I watched for a couple days. I watched you guys, I learned the lingo, I kind of picked up on how you guys were moving. And once I felt like my confidence level was up, I just, ju- you know, I jumped in there. And I literally, I remember, I'll never forget the first day of being in the trading room with you guys. I did exactly what Latoya told me to do. I did exactly what she, and it wasn't that she was telling me to do it. She was just telling me what she was doing. <laughs> <laughs> so it was almost like you know how contra you know at the beginning of the game you put in uh up up down down left right left right a b a b start it was almost like a cheat code like that you know so i'm like okay well latoya's not in here to lose money if this is what she's doing and she's encouraging us to do the same now mind you i'm not trading with the same amount of money latoya's trading with my bag looks different than hers however the trade in itself was solid so when she said it I went and looked for myself you know and I was like okay I see exactly why she's saying you know make the call here get in here we're looking to take profit here I I saw it for myself you know and I was like makes sense now would I have seen that on my own probably but probably not matter of fact I'll never forget it it was Roku to be exact do you remember us at the end of the day me bragging about Roku and I was like I didn't want to tell you tell me to do it was Roku I had no eyes on Roku I had I wasn't even I wasn't checking for Roku because I'm looking at you know some of the more popular you know what everybody's looking at the Apples the Microsofts the Amazons the Teslas and I'm looking that direction and I would have never even thought to look at Roku or Roku making any type of games like that, but I'm not even thinking to myself from a technical standpoint and a fundamental standpoint, they're winning right now, you know? And and at that moment in time, it was a good moment. So boom, she put in there what she was going to do. And she was, you know, 
I followed her trade. It made sense to me. And I want to say I made, what was it, about three, 346 something that day or something. Mm -hmm. And I remember inboxing. I'm like, yes, I did. I set a goal for myself for $300 a day. Let me tell you the reason why I set a goal for $300 a day. Because to me, the way I look at trading now is probably different than I looked at trading when I wasn't in it. Um, I'm looking for passive sources or residual sources of income now. And I saw this as a way that I could make money on a day-to-day -day basis and without having to clock in on anybody's job. You know what I mean? How can I pay my bills without clocking in on anybody's job? Correct. So I added all my bills up together and I'm like, okay, mortgage, everything. And I said to myself, if I can make $200 a day, I can pay all my bills and I ain't got to work. So I said, okay, well, if that's that, I want to set my goal for $300 a day to give myself a cushion to where maybe if I have a bad day and I don't hit 300, I'm still hitting my goal or, you know, maybe a little bit of extra money to put back into some long-term goals, that kind of thing. So I set my, I set my goal at $300 a day. That was, I've been trading for two solid weeks now. There's only been one day, two days, I'm sorry. There's been two days that I didn't hit my goal. One day was because I didn't trade, which was Monday. Mm -hmm. I didn't trade on Monday. So I didn't make my goal. And the reason why I didn't trade is because I remember one thing you taught to me in class was you don't have to trade every day. Sometimes you, it's better just to sit back, regroup, collect, and observe. And on that particular day, the stock market was doing some weird stuff mm -hmm. on Monday. And I was like, you know what, let me just sit back and strategize for what I'm going to do for the rest of the week. And that's what I did. And then I came back on Tuesday and killed it. You know, so, but I, but I, only two days that I have not hit my goal. And that was not because of necessarily losses. It was just because I was like, let me chill. You know what I mean? Let me chill, regroup and see where I want to go. But that's kind of where I'm at with it. And the, the lowest I've ever made was, I think, high twos. And the most that I've made so far was $667. Mm. In a day. And the day mm. I made $167, that was another trade, LaToya. I got in with LaToya. And um, I made that in 31 minutes. Mm. Mm. So when people see those videos and stuff, it's realistic for you to make easy $1,000 an hour, right? Exactly. It's very, very realistic. It's very yeah. realistic. And, and that's what 500 And I'm moving with $500, you guys. You know, it might be somebody out there who makes it, you know, I want to go in with a thousand. Now, if I'm making, you know, 600 off of 500, then you would have made double what I made. You know what I mean? I'm taking it slow. That's my personal, you know, preference. But as I see my portfolio moving, then I can, you know, those gains will only get bigger. But off of $500, and I'm, I literally made the money back from your trip, from the class in the trading room. I made the money back from your class in five minutes. Mm. And I'm not even, I'm not exaggerating because I remember inboxing you that day and I was like, the, the class paid for itself already. That was literally in the first five minutes of my trade because we got in at the right moment and it just took off. And then within two days, I had paid for the class, I had paid for the trading room, and I still managed to make about a $200 profit. So everything that I made since then has been straight up profit. Correct. So I'm literally making profit in the profit room. Hey. Boom. <laughs> yeah, and, that, and that's what I'm saying. Like, see, I think a lot of people, I, first of all, I commend when you said when that, that shows that you are a trader. When you mentioned, even though LaToya mentioned the trade, you looked for yourself and you saw the trade set up and you agreed with it. And I know you've been doing a lot of trades as well on your own. And that's the importance with like even our trading rooms, people ask us all the time, how much money can I make? How much our trading rooms aren't designed. If you don't know how to trade, if you don't know how to trade, don't come in my trading room. It's not even worth it. 
because you need to be educated. Number one, we're trading with you, you know, and you need to have your own plan, your own risk management and things of that nature, because you have to be able to see the trade for yourself. And it's even more of a benefit when our students are in the room, because like you said, it's more eyes on the market. It's, it's more eyes on the market in order to do it. And I'm glad that you're mentioning the capital requirements because we don't know everybody's bag. You know, people could be in there with so much more or so much less, but it's more of the consistency. That's number two. Then the same thing as well. Like you don't have to trade every day. So I'll give you a, a plain example. Latoya and I, like you seeing, if you're seeing the profits that you're making and other people, it's almost like this is a passion for us because we're traders first. This is what we do. So it's like, you don't have to show up every single day, but like you mentioned before, even start the live, Hey, I'm on uh, Yahoo finance. I'm looking up stuff. You get used to doing the same thing as well as we are all students of the market. We're students of the market. So even though we don't need to trade every day, we enjoy it because that's our conversation. Like we're on the phone the whole time. I'm in the futures and forex room as well. She in the stock and options um, room doing, we're both looking at stuff and it's just more of like the adrenaline. Like I go to work out and I go to the gym every day to train because it's not like, Hey, I'm doing it for, it's like, that's what I enjoy to do. So right. that's the same thing with we have here right now, which we're trying to bring to most people, because even though, like you said, you made your money back, like everybody who joins our rooms, no matter what, you should be making your money back that day or the next day. You should be making the money back. Next, but a lot of people, that's what they say. You guys got free trials. No, 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 no. I don't even want to deal with you with a free trial because but I understand people are get so burnt now with these courses. Like you said, everybody is teaching and things of that nature. But like Latrice was just mentioned, I can guarantee you two things about the profit room in our company. I guarantee you two things. You're going to learn how to trade. Latoya and I are going to give you all the information you need to learn how to trade. That's up to you what you do with it. You can go away, you can do other stuff, whatever. You're going to get the information you need how to trade. Number two, if you come in our rooms, you're going to make money. I guarantee you, you're going to make money because we are in the market every day. And you know, you tell, tell them about the people that are in the room. Like you got Don in there, you got other people, uh, 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 Ty, Tyler, he's in there. I call him Tyler, but just hey, like the, 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 <laughs> the community, like I'll come, I'll pop in there and I'm like, man, you guys are doing great, but everybody's there motivating and pushing people. And it's not like, this is the difference, which you understand. This is an environment of mature traders. We're not hype traders. It's a community. And that's the one thing, you know, I hit you up on the inbox the other day. One of the people that was in my training group with me, she hit me up and it was a couple of things that she wasn't getting. It, you know, she was like, you know, it's not registering to her, but because, you know, we all got each other's backs in there. She hit me up on the inbox. She was like, hey, sis, when they said this, what do they mean? I didn't, I didn't necessarily get that. She, I said, call me real quick. She called me and, you know, I, I ran into her. She's like, ah, I get it now. You know, so it's like every, there's no competition. There's no, let me hold and hoard all the secrets to myself or let me hoard this stock to myself that I think is going to, you know, maybe take off that nobody else knows about or hasn't heard about. The, the game that's shared in there flows, flows so freely. You know what I mean? And the, the way that you guys set it up, and I think that was another thing that made me finally jump in is when you guys traded, moved over to the group platform. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that we are there to, and we kind of lean on each other and, you know, because we all are at different levels in our trading or whatever, that was, that was, I think that's what keeps me coming back every day. Like the day that I told you I didn't trade, I was still present. I sat in that trading room until probably about 
one o'clock you guys' time. Knowing damn well I wasn't taking any trades that day. However, there was still information for me to learn. I still watched how you guys move. I still watched and researched the trades that, you know, Latoya and Don and, and, and Taylor were taking in the room. And then I, I, I just set myself up for the next day. You know, I'm like, oh, okay, I see where they're going with this. I researched what they were talking about. I see where they're going. Boom, came back the next day and killed it. I think what I make, like $400 yesterday? Mm -hmm. After not trading on Monday? Because, I, but I, I, you know, I, was, I still was present. And taking options class, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people watching on my Facebook page, they don't even know what options or futures is. But taking that class, I, I knew about the stock market, but I don't even look at it the same anymore. I don't look at the opportunities that there are any same, the same anymore. I don't look at the money to be made the same anymore. It's like, oh, Tesla, you know, or let's say Facebook went up $10. And I'm like, okay, well, if I bought a share, I just made 10 bucks. What do you do? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You can't see it. But when you're trading options, the bag that's there <laughs> does not exist in the regular stock market unless you have an extensive amount of money. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But once you get into options, it's like, whoa, I'm sitting here and I got a, I'm controlling a, a hundred shares of a stock. That's like 150 bucks. Correct. Which I would have, it would have took me probably two years to obtain access to that. If I was trading the stock market traditionally, you know what I mean? So I see my friends and I see them getting into stocks and they're on Robin hood and it's like, Hey, you know, I, I got into such and such and it went up $5. Ooh, you know, I'm booming. And I'm just thinking to myself, because now I'm a trader, okay? So now I'm, I'm looking at it, I'm like, man, it went up $5. You made $5, I made 500 You know what I mean? Off the yeah. same exact stock. But that's because now that I know what options is, there is no going back. You know what I mean? Correct. Like, anytime I get into the traditional stock market, at this point, it's just for longevity and long-term goals. Mm -hmm. But as far as day-to-day -day eating and living. Got gotcha. you. I don't even, you know, I don't, I don't look at money the same. I don't look at the market the same. And I definitely don't look at my financial freedom the same because I, I'm, I'm in here maybe an hour a day and, I, and I've made more money than I would have if I would have set a job. No, it's no. life changing. And I think I like the way that you break that down because you're reviewing. See, now a lot of people don't understand, like I always say, I have, uh, like even my trainer, I always say the cost of freedom is discipline. The cost of freedom is discipline. Mm. And a lot of people don't have the discipline, like you're saying, to go back and look what we traded during the day. And a lot of people aren't going to do that. And people don't understand even before the market is open. Latoya and I are behind the scenes, 730 in the morning, every day charting out levels, looking at stuff that we want to plan on trade. We got to do that in every market, futures, stocks. We looking at Forex, everything, right? And boom, because what happens when it's prepared? She's sending out the messages, what we looking at, I'm doing the same thing, right? So that's discipline every single day in order to do that. Besides educational content, this and that nature. Is it burdensome? No, because that's what has to be done in order to be who you are. Like at the end of the day, we're showing people how to have self-sufficiency. That's why we have little like lives and things of that nature, because we want you to see it for yourself. There's, we don't feel like there's a competition unless you're going to be doing what we're doing every single day. And we know the average person, right? is hyping stuff up and you making money, you making money, which is great, but this is more than that. So I want to talk a little bit about how do you feel like as an individual now with what you learn? And we talked about this before, like self-sufficiency, like my, our goal, like I believe in groups and everybody working together. Right. But at the end of the day, I may not always be around, Latoya may not always be around or whatever. How do you feel like, which, cause I'm an advocate. Everybody that's listening to the problem is advocate of self-sufficiency, right? Our goal is to teach you how to trade on your own and not to be worried about any groups 
chats or I don't want you asking anybody questions about no stocks besides us when you get to a point. Not saying we're the super best, but I believe in our, our what we do. I believe we're working extremely hard because we're in a market every day and people see us every day. That's the most important. That's why you don't, I don't want to go into a whole bunch of that because I'll start going off. But tell me about how you feel with you, like the information, like you said, the, the holding back, the openness, the self-sufficiency. Um, okay, so I, I, I got up one day. You, I'm, I'm huge on, on generational wealth, right? Anybody who knows me knows that. But what I noticed was I was so busy focusing on my babies and their futures and their kids, kids, you know, and making moves for their future that I forgot about today. And how can I, you know, it got to a point where I needed to free up some money today so I could invest in some things for the future. Right. And I said, okay, I, I got to get a little bit more self-sufficient, you know, especially with the pandemic. And that was, that was like the eye opener for me was watching me go from, you know, getting my business off the ground to not being able to travel. And it shut me down. Like literally within, I got back from Ethiopia, I think on March 4th and it literally shut me down. But just as fast as I got started, it shut me down. So I said, you know what? Never again will I allow the president, the government, or anybody keep me away from being able to feed my family. I'm talking about the now. Because, you know, the generational issues, I, I think I pretty much got a handle on those type of investments. But I need to become more self-sufficient on a day-to-day -day basis to where, you know, I don't want to be one of those people who had it on, you know, the house, something happened and the market crashes and I, I'm going through foreclosure or anything like that. How can I make myself more financially free on a day-to-day -day basis and become self-sufficient? And as I'm sitting here and I'm trying to figure it out and I'm watching you and Latoya be consistent, even in the midst of the whole entire country being turned on its head and people losing their businesses and their houses and, you know, having to rely on, you know, unemployment money and stuff like this. And I see you guys winning. And I, I was like, what the, how come they're not taking a hit like everybody else? You know what I mean? And I said, there's something in that. And I just saw an inv invaluable opportunity to have the financial freedom on a day-to-day -day basis that I needed inside of not only the stock market, but more so importantly, inside of um the profit room and i tell you what tomorrow every source of income that i have could go away and as a trader because i do consider myself a trader now as a trader i know that i have the tools and the knowledge the discipline the consistency and the respect for the stock market to still feed my family Ah, that's, that's very important because like I tell people, like I see, I see ads now of real estate people and there's no this, I really invest in real estate. They're doing, uh, Amazon stores, drop shipping. <laughs> they, they're doing something that, because that's shifting. You know, a lot of other businesses are shifting. Everybody has to pivot, which is fine. I respect everybody's hustle. You have to feed your family, but no matter what, that's what I was always talking about before. I learned how to trade during, they say, the financial crisis, 2008. Majority of my trades was shorting during the worst time. I, I never, all I knew how to do was short a stock. That's the first thing I learned how to do. Majority of my trades was shorting stocks. And a lot of people don't realize there was a lot of millionaires made during that time. My trading coach at the time was shorting the stock from $130 all the way down to 20. That's all she traded every single day. We was just shorting the same stock, right? So fast forward, this is the opportunity for people. So like you said, you're sitting back and watching, the world works on the financial markets. And once you know how the financial markets work, 
and like you said, the TA, the technical analysis, the candles, it's an open playing field for everybody. Yeah, some days is going to be a little bit choppy. Some days are not, may not be as clean. But once you know how it works, you get that, that confidence. Like you say, in the beginning, it's always like, man, this is skeptical, this and that. But now you have that information in order to be able to pull out money out the market. And like you mentioned like before, having that modest goal is always going to increase because all our students start off like that. Even we had traded shells. Ah, I'm going to just stick $200 a day. Then before you know it, it comes to 600. It comes to 700, but you have to keep that moderate. Like you got to be, you got the average person. Like I always tell people, you know, and I was telling you before, it's going to come. The average person doesn't make $200 a day. Right. But then you still, you got to buy lunch. You got to buy clothes. You got to drive to work. Uh, you got to deal with people. I like this business because I don't even have to deal with people. It's just you versus you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And once you understand that, that's why, you know, you have to take the hype out of it. When people hype you up, that's emotion. But when you learn how to trade, you respect the market, you control the emotion. Yeah, there's sometimes you're not going to make as much. Somebody made four or 5000 I, you know, congratulations, but did you make that strategically? And people don't want that. They want it right now. They want the big hit right now. But like we always say, I said, we're still here. When people disappear, 2000, what, 19, they got a little suspect, 18, uh, December, the market started dropping, then they, they pop back again, you know, and the market drops like that, they, you know, so the whole goal is longevity. And I'm glad that you're able to participate and see it because we don't know if we're going to have the room forever. You know, we don't know anything can happen. I might wake up tomorrow and tell you, Hey, I'm in the sell selling cell phone towers now. I might, you know, <laughs> cause people disappoint, people disappoint all the time. You know, they come up with an idea and they gone like, Hey, wasn't you doing a profit room? Yeah, I ain't doing that no more. I'm doing something. And I'm just being real because I see it every right. single day. But you I know the every cool the cool thing about it is I love trading with you guys, but the knowledge that I have, if both of you guys were to disappear tomorrow, I'm confident in knowing that you guys have given me the tools and the game to where I can stand on my own too. Correct. And one thing for anybody, especially the people on my page that are watching this, you mentioned something and I know people are like, what is he talking about? You mentioned shorting the market. That was like the, I think it was day one of trading class, maybe day two. I think it was day two. When I found out that you can make money if a stock goes down, it blew my mind because all I've seen was things like, you know, you grow up watching movies like Trading Places with Eddie Murphy and, you know, Mortimer and his brother lost all their money with the stock market crash and they was homeless on Coming to America, right? So I'm like, okay, oh my God, I can lose all my money. And then when you told me about shorting, the market, which is basically going the other way. So you mean to tell me if a stock drops $50, I could make money? So the same way I can make money if the stock goes up, I can make money if the stock goes down. That blew my mind. And it wasn't until I actually did it for the first time because you short everything. <laughs> um, so when you, when, and you, when you were talking about it, I was like, oh my God, I got to try it at least once. Like, yeah, I'm in this trade because they're about to do that da, 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 based on the charts. But this one is also going to go down. So when I did it my first time, it was like, what just happened here? Do you mean to tell me I just made $384 because uh, what stock was it? I want to say it was... Uh, was it Novax? I can't remember which one it was. But yeah, Novax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was Novax. So a stock dropped, and I was like, and I told you, I said, I'm about to short this thing, Ernest. Really? I'm about to short this thing. And I did it, and it was like, whoa. This stock dropped, like, maybe, I want to say dropped $8 a share. Somebody lost some money, but it wasn't me. <laughs> I made money. You know what I mean? Like, I made money because the stock is doing bad. That let me know right there that regardless of what happens, you know, the S&P and the Dow can, and everybody can just crash at one time. And I'll probably 
make more money that way than I will if it if it if it's doing good. So that let me know that okay, if the economy is doing good, if the economy is doing bad, I have found a way to be financially free and self sufficient to where no matter what is going on around me, I have a way to make money now. And what you and Latoya and Don and Kevin and Taylor have done for me is you taught me how to fish. You feel me? Like, I could have taken your class and or, you know, not done anything with it or not put the discipline and the consistency into it. But I see you being consistent, so I need to be consistent because I'm trying to get to where you are. So in order for me to get to where you are, I have to mirror that you know what i mean so if you're consistent i need to be consistent if you're showing up every day whether i'm trained or not i'm showing up every day you know what i mean and that's why i proudly call you my mentor because <clears throat> they're the way you move within this market and the way you move within this economy i haven't seen too many people get in the bag like you get you know and i'm not going you know, I see what you post and everybody who's friends with you, you know, they see what you post. It's beyond impressive, but it's not because you got lucky. It's not because, oh, well, you know, I threw some money at it and it just is because you're consistent. It's because you have the discipline. It's because you respect the market. So you guys have all given me the fishing pole versus the fish in the bread. You know, you guys have given me a way to feed my family and I am in eternally grateful for the game for the knowledge for the mentorship the relationship the community that we have inside of the profit room and i thank you guys so so much for everything no we have, uh, we listen we definitely uh, appreciate that that's why we like to have these video sessions so people could look at even if they don't go to the profit room what what is actually possible out here and i like to call it the the reality of trading and it, it, it's funny how, like, uh, when you get in this business or what you're doing now, it's, it's kind of surreal to people. You know what I mean? Um, we have an open trading floor, right? Where, like, we can screenshot and say, this is where we're getting in, right? And this is where we're getting out, right? And it's all time stamped and everything. Right. And we can have a receipt and have a profit to go with it. Right. And you see that how many people are actually in the room, then people are still question, does this still really work? Did I really get in that trade? Like, there's nothing else I could do. There's right. nothing else I could, there's nothing else I could do. I was kind of logging in for him, you know. <laughs> it's like there's nothing else I could do. So that's one of the things where like it's a personal thing to people and I understand. And that's when I realized that sometimes stuff being a little bit too real to people, they're not going to accept it. They rather go with the hype and the, the fluff and the notoriety and things of that nature. So, and I'm, and I'm glad that you benefit because we attract clients like that. Like I personally and Latoya, we use the market for what it is. Like you saying, the, mar the stocks go up, the stocks go down. I'm not going to be an advocate over a company, right? I'm not going to be an advocate over no matter what company is. I don't love any company or stock. I'm using the stock market for what it is to generate money, right? Also, a lot of stuff too. I, I collect a lot of Black Americana. All these companies are corrupt. They did a lot of stuff. To That's another subject too. They made their money off of us years ago anyway, but I'm using it for what it is. That's what it is. I'm not going to be a champion of a specific company or anything. That's why you don't see us doing posts like that or whatever. My goal is to teach people like you to get that trader's mindset, not to be biased, not to fall in love with the market. You enter the market, you pull that money out and you take care of your family and do whatever you want to do. And you keep doing that over and over again. That's why we always have a saying, we don't chat, we trade. We don't, we don't talk about the money market, we trade it. That's why you see in our rooms, ain't nobody. There's no small talk. It ain't no small talk. I say good morning, that is it. <laughs> ain't no small talk. 
y'all go on y'all y'all could go in. yeah go, y'all could go in them different groups for that. You, right you in the profit room you trading that's it it's like i hate to say it's not being mean or nothing like that like you know sometimes the conversations we had or like the some of the classes i'm to the point you ain't pay me to be your friend you ain't pay i ain't pay you to comment on my post to hype me up you pay me and our company to, to, to trade we come right there you you serious about trading you don't want to play no games you know where to come that's it good morning and then after that all you see is numbers and acronyms numbers stock tickers and acronyms for the rest you know for the rest of the day but that's it like man i i just thinking about where i was maybe a month ago before i got into your group and where i am now i feel so much more secure in what's going on in the world around me it was to the point today where my mom who's in town right now she's on yahoo finance she don't own not one stock okay <laughs> she has no dog in the fight literally but she knows that i was in a trade today she knows that i was in uh, amd and she's watching me she's like Latrice, what are you doing and you know she's asking me questions so I had stepped away to go to the bathroom and she's yelling to me in the bathroom, Latrice, it went up 30 cents. Are you going to take profit? And that was just from her watching me today only. So once I got out of the trade and I was finished for the day, she came to me and she was like, I watched you today. She was like, my, my adrenaline was pumping and I'm not even trading. She said, but did you really make that today? I turned my phone around and I showed her my portfolio. I was like, yeah, look at today's gain. It was up like 42%. She said, what? Now, mind you, she's retired. She's not working or anything. So she's like, can you teach me how to do that? I say, you're going to take earnest class just like I did. <laughs> I said, but, you can teach you know, mama. You can teach mama. It's all good. Yeah, no, she's going to take the class just like I did because I'm telling you, not only just taking the class and getting, getting from it what you guys gave me, but the fact that I needed to show up and be present because I need to return on my investment. She gonna put her money in the same way I put my money in. <laughs> I hear you. Because I feel like she will respect it more, and exactly. she will, and I believe that she'll show up because it's not like, oh, well, this was something free or whatever, and then let me just, you know, she she's not gonna quit because she had one bad day. She's gonna continue to show up, and she's gonna learn. I need her to learn exactly what I learned from you. So I told her, get your coins together. And when he has the next class, we're going to enroll you when you have the time to put into it because now I want her to be self-sufficient. If for no other reason that she could take care of herself, because guess what? If she take care of herself, then I ain't got to take care of her. You feel me? Uh, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. Who you, who you telling? Who you telling? No. no. And, and, that, and, and that's the whole point of what we're trying to do. And we have other stuff that's coming out because that's the cycle. That's the cycle. You know what I mean? We don't like once you once you have that self-sufficiency like i saying you don't have to rely on anybody and like we said before human we are imperfect people be switching up agendas left and right no matter what and the the thing behind it which i always felt and me and latoya talk about this with his business what what i see people doing to our community and attacking our emotions with certain things to me is sickening because we want things so bad and a lot of us have been so disappointed with things and like i said before i only get guarantee you two things that you're going to learn how to trade and invest and if you join the room you're going to make money but you, you that that's what i can guarantee for sure with how you study and everything that's basically on your own but once you grasp it it's just like you're saying that that power you have the power you have in order to like you said your mother's talking about it who that probably even talked about trade and now she's intrigued and she might tell somebody else and the other person you're not yet conscious of what's actually taking place and then now you could just build up on your own from that you could build up on your own and you, you don't know what seed you're going to plant. A niece, a nephew may turn out of nowhere. 
My 17 year old son, he sees me every single morning. My alarm clock goes off at 5.40 a.m. When he comes downstairs for breakfast in the morning, I'm already in front of my computer. I have my computer up. I have my iPad up. I got my phone propped up. I got my other laptop propped up and he sees me working. He's like, mom, um, do you think I can get into it too? I said, yeah, you sure can. We gonna set you up. So it's not just my mom, my son, and then my 15 year old son, he's up next. You know what I mean? And the same way you taught me how to fish for my family, I want to teach them how to fish because again, if I make sure they're good, that's one less person that I'm responsible for because now you are self-sufficient on your own. And I don't care how long you've worked on your job. If this pandemic hasn't been an eye opener when you saw your 401k going nuts or yeah. watch the, watching the, the livelihood of social security hanging the balance, you know, you thinking that's guaranteed money when you hit 65, watching all these things become in jeopardy should, we should, None of us should want to feel like we have to rely on any form of um, sustainability outside of what we know we can do ourselves. Yeah, you may have worked for it. You may have invested in your 401k, but you don't control that money. Mm -hmm. So guess what? The market dumped, it fell. But guess what? Like you said, if that was my money that I was investing into myself, when the market dumped, I would have made money because I shorted the market. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Or the fact that Social Security may not be around in five years. And here I am banking that when I turn 65, I'm going to be straight. Mm -hmm. If that disappears tomorrow, then what? You know what I mean? Right. I don't want that for myself. I don't want that for my kids. I don't want that for my mom. Correct. No, and, 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 that's, and that's the whole thing. And once you create your income, you have the right and choice to do whatever you want to do. You can invest in whatever you want to invest in. You could decide to do wh wh whatever. Somebody want to open up a bakery. You want to open up there. You want, you could do whatever you want. It's just the fact that you know you can pull money from the market from your home. And especially like you said, your 17 year old son is looking and somebody else. And, and that's the thing. You know, you, you can't underestimate anybody. Just like I can't underestimate you or any student. There could be somebody that learns this and you think that they're not as savvy. You, you know, you try to judge a book by the cover. They may grasp it and just advance 10 times as, as you, you like, that, is that my son? That's my daughter. Like, boom, boom, but you don't know until you expose them to something, you know, in order to do that. Like a lot of these things that, we see they just need one little niche, like one little um, push towards something. And before you know it, you might start seeing teenagers with the CNBC app or another app or something, boom, boom, boom. Now they are okay. And they're talking the language and they're understanding it. And before you know it, it may be planting a seed and go from there. That's our whole goal, like with anybody. I talking about Forex. I, wasn't, I didn't know what Forex was when I was 17. I didn't know what the stock market was. You know, they didn't teach us that. But because he sees me get up and do it, he sees my brother gets up and do it. And he's like, wait a minute. He hears the conversations. You know, we're not talking about Will and Jada and, 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 and Tori and Meg in this household. It's like, hey, did you see uh, such and such is up? Or um, this, this company just merged with this company. And, you know, that, these are the conversations we have in our house. So it's only natural for it to be contagious or for them to even when you think they're not listening they're listening you know what I mean and one important thing that I have learned from this was it's a way to make money to make a way out of no way literally if you working every day and you uh let's say you're trying to start a business but all your money, a certain percentage of your money is there's just not enough money to invest in your business properly because your nine to five may all go to bills in your livelihood and your day-to-day -day living. Well, you, you, you got to find the money somewhere to invest in your business to get where, let this invest, let this be the money that pays for you to maybe get your website bill for your business, get those business cards you've been needing, um, you know, pay for the, the advertising or whatever the case may be, or you need to expand, you need a larger space, you need better equipment. 
well, it ain't coming from your nine to five. Let it come from this. Mm-hmm. You know, one of my friends is an electrician and he hit me up and he, t- and I told you about him. He hit me up and he's like, Hey, I need to know what you're doing. I don't have time or whatever this, this, and that. Dude, give it an hour. Give it an hour of your day. I'm telling you. Well, I'm trying to start my own business or whatever. Okay. Well, if all your funds that you make from your nine to five are already allocated, but you know that this business will bring you money, how are you going to get that business off the ground? Get into the stock market. Give it an hour a day. Let him come from there. But I'm telling you, you know, in, in, two, in 2020, you have to get resourceful. One yeah. source of income will never be enough. Two sources, yeah. But me personally, I'm trying to get it six, seven different ways. Yeah, I got you. So, but I, I think I got it. I, I, think I, found, I think I found my niche. This is addicting. Um, there's a whole sense of pride, like, uh, I feel like I walked a little bit prouder with my head up a little bit more knowing that I got up and with, with not clocking in without waiting on a, you know, a, a government handout or without waiting for unemployment or anything, I got up and made it happen today on my own. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Off a company that I could care less about because I don't emotionally trade. You know what I mean? Everybody else is like, oh my God, Amazon went down $30 today. And I'm like, I know. You know what I mean? Because there's <laughs> money to be made. I don't care if Amazon goes down. I don't care if Amazon goes up because there's a bag to be made in either way. So I'm out here getting it for me with nobody's validation, with nobody's approval, with nobody's time clock, uh, pay raise or, or BS associated with it it's such a confidence booster just, yeah. you know, overall. And it makes waking up every day so much more exciting. Yeah. No, that, 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 that's what it's, that's what I'm saying. That's what it's all about, man. Like I, that's what I mean. I, I enjoy hearing that because you have that confidence and that's the thing, like, and a lot of people, you know, you got to answer to people and it's nothing wrong with working or having a job or things of that nature. We all had a job or work or, and you could do it part-time. You said to an electrician friend, it's an hour a day, man. You just got to study. You got to understand. You got to start small. You got to build that muscle up. You know, it's like you don't win a competition overnight. You got to just boom, boom, boom. And that's what I'm saying before. It's the trader's mindset where you're developing. I'm developing. You got a little bit, I could do this. I could do this. There's always a little bit of fear when you start out, you know, there's always a little obstacle emotionally and even like financially for some people, but you have to keep pushing, pushing. Then eventually you'll just see, all right, I'm starting to develop, 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 develop. And boom, before you know it, you start seeing that strength. And like we said before, the market, you got to humble yourself before the market to humble you because the market will always humble you. But did at the end of the day, like you saying, I and you like the thought process is not about falling in love with the companies. It's not about what it's doing. You have confidence that you're like any other person on wall street, like any other person on wall street. I got in this game. I won the fight this day. Boom, I'm going to take my coins and I'm going to wake up the next day and do the same thing. I'm just just going to try to repeat it over and over and over again. And it's possible. So, Latrice, we thank you for this interview. I am going to keep you this long. I even got a session I got to go to. I'm running late behind. Oh, but... no, we were, hey, we were vibing. You know, I wasn't even looking at the time. We were yeah. good. No, no, I was vibing too because it's good to it is really good to, for people to see it either way, because majority of the time I notice uh, we like to be open, you know, and the thing is there's no secret to trading. You can learn from anybody. That's the thing. Like a lot of people saying they got this golden rule or the secret, this and that, blase, blase. Yeah. There's strategies and techniques that people like that others don't do or ways of teaching but it's more of the delivery, the structure, and the experience for the individual to take it to another level and be able to do it on their own. And that's why we like to have these 
uh, sessions with people from all various uh, backgrounds and things of that nature. So we appreciate you um, giving your experience. We look forward to seeing you more in the room. Any last uh, words you want to say before we uh, shut it down? Um, just real quickly, um, shout out to you and the entire Profit Room team, Latoya. Her black girl magic is amazing. Um, Kevin, Don, Taylor, the whole Profit Room, I, I'm eternally grateful to you guys. To anybody that's out there watching, watching specifically that's been wanting to do this or anybody that's on my, on my feed that's watching right now, let me tell you something. There is no IQ level. There is no um, tax bracket. There are no requirements to get in this. You know what I mean? I don't care if you got six felonies or you got six degrees. There, <laughs> this mm -hmm. is for everybody. And if you want to get into it, just do it. Trust the process and, you, and just have that discipline. Just show up and, and take it seriously. You know what I mean? And if there's anybody... <laughs> I come from the hood, you know what I mean? I come, I come from Southeast San Diego and you could not have told me growing up that the opportunities and the, and the investments and things that I'm making are, was something that was in, in the cards for me, you know what I mean? And every day, the only person I'm in competition with is myself to be a better person. Every day that I enter that market, the only person I am in competition with is myself to be a better trader that isn't associated with a, a particular company that isn't associated with a certain dollar amount i just want to be better than i was the day before and you know thanks to you and latoya and the team i feel like i'm doing that thank you so much no no problem we appreciate it we really appreciate that so just to wrap up like we're saying uh latrice she's one of our profit room students she's a part of our room and what we like to tell everybody, just be conscious of your financial needs. At the end of the day, with the profit room, like, like Latrice mentioned, just ask about us and just follow us. Just follow us. It can't hurt you to follow us on the Instagram. Just go follow us on Instagram. That'd be great. Please follow us on Instagram. We do a lot there. Twitter, anything that's profit room. You don't have to invest your money. If you feel uncomfortable in the beginning, that's fine. No pressure, no stress. Just follow. Just follow. Look at the students, things of that nature. When you're comfortable and you're ready, we're here to help you. That's all I could basically say like that. And only two things we always promise, that we're going to teach you what you need to know in order to trade the markets, to be an independent professional trader. And that's where you see, like Latrice, she uses the terminology. She considers herself a trader, which she is. She's a trader. And a lot, not too many people could tell you that. They could say, yeah, I play around the stock market, this and that. She's a trader because she's actively trading. And number two, if you come in our rooms and you know how to trade, you're going to make money. You're Period. going to make money because we show up every day. We show up every day. And this is on video and things of that nature. We show up every day because this is what we do. Not too many people can promise you that. But those are two things I could definitely promise you. Definitely yeah. promise you. You just have to apply the information there. All right, guys. Latrice, thank you so much. We look forward to it. We'll see you in the room tomorrow. You guys have a great day. Right early. So I'll All, see right. You All right, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day and um, be safe. Take care. Thanks.